Hi, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's Subscriber Sunday where I take requests from you, the viewers, and Silver Volp said, would I make something with chicken livers? What I asked him, anything you like. Well, I adore chicken liver pate. There are two methods I use. One is in a bain marie, a little more complicated, but this one today is so simple and produces such a wonderful chicken liver pate. Come on, let me show you how. We'll start off with 75 grams, that's about two and a half ounces of salted butter in a heavy base saucepan. And I've got a fairly small brown or white onion here, which I'm just going to cut up coarsely. Then we'll pop that into the frying pan as well. One garlic clove, which I'm just going to crush with the back of my knife, pop that in. Now, I'm using fresh sage, you can use dried sage leaves. I'm just going to take three or four of those off of there and pop them in as well. These are little allspice berries. If you haven't got them, you can always use regular mixed spice and just break those up in a mortar and pestle. Now you can really experiment with your spices in here and use almost any type. In goes the allspice. Quarter of a teaspoon of powdered ginger. I've got some fresh thyme from the garden. I'm just gonna pull the leaves off of there and pop them in the pan as well. Of course, you could use dry thyme, that wouldn't be a problem. Then we're gonna season this with a little bit of ground salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. Now let's take this over to the stove top and on a medium heat, I'm gonna melt that butter down and we're just gonna saute these onions in the butter until they become translucent, not brown. Now whilst our onions are cooking off, we're just gonna take our chicken livers and cut off any fat or sinew and then just pop them aside. Now good chicken livers should be lovely and red and plump like this, no grayness in them at all. These ones are just perfect. Now it's important not to overcook the onions because cooking in butter it's very easy to burn them so keep the heat down low. And when they become soft and translucent and all those herbs have absorbed into them, I'm going to take a third of a cup of thick cream and just pop that in there as well. And then I'm just going to warm that through for about a minute or so and then we're ready to take this off the heat. So now I'm just gonna take that off the heat now and I'm bringing that over to my food processor. I'm just pouring all that straight into the processor. Now we bring that pan back over onto the heat and I'm going to add a little splash of olive oil in there. I'm bringing the heat up a little bit and I'm gonna pop the chicken livers in there. We don't need to clean the pan out because it will just add more flavor. So on a high heat, we're going to brown these chicken livers off. Ideally, they don't want to be overcooked. We want to leave a little bit of pinkness in the livers. Now, when the surface of the livers have browned like that, I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of brandy. Just pour that in there now. Make sure the heat's up high. I'm just going to turn that towards the flame and just flambe that off. And that will just burn the alcohol off of the brandy, but leave all the flavors in there. Now obviously that's an optional choice. You don't have to use brandy, but I think it makes a great flavor with chicken liver pate. Another minute or so just to finish browning off those chicken livers. I don't want them to become tough. And then take them off the heat and bring those livers and pop them into our food processor. Now all those wonderful juices are in there as well. Then I'll pop those onto the processor. Now we are gonna blitz this down until it's fairly smooth. Now that shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna pop that off there now and you'll see we've got this beautiful smooth chicken liver pate. But I want my chicken liver pate to be extra smooth so I'm just pouring it into a sieve and I'm just going to use my wooden spoon to push it through. It doesn't really take much effort and it will just remove any of the coarse bits of seasoning that's in there or any sinew. Now this is a small step but what it does do is gives you a super smooth chicken liver pate. And then we can take our chicken liver pate, the final smooth mixture, and just pop it into some ramekins or pate terrines. Now I'm just flattening down the surface of the pate before I pop it in the fridge, and we're just going to let it firm up. It'll take about half an hour, and then we're going to cover the top with some clarified butter. Now I'm just gonna make a little clarified butter to seal over the top of my pate. I have another 75 grams or two and a half ounces of salted butter in here. I'm just gonna melt that on a gentle heat on the stove. Now, as the butter comes up to a simmer, you'll notice these little milk solids start to float on the top. 
Now we could just skim these milk solids off the top, which will leave us with this wonderful clarified butter underneath. A little bit of milk solids on the bottom there. So I'm going to keep the milk solids back, but I'm going to pour this clarified butter over the top of my pate. So you'll see there that most of the milk solids have stayed back. I don't particularly want that on the top of the pate. Now I'm going to set these in the fridge until they've set completely, and that will just protect the top of the pate from oxidizing. Now while the pate sets in the fridge, I might as well make some little crocinis. I've got a baguette here left over from yesterday. I'm just going to cut some thin slices. And I've preheated my oven to 150 degrees Celsius, that's 300 Fahrenheit. We pop our little slices of bread in a baking tray. You can put them on a cookie tray as well. And I'm just going to brush a little bit of olive oil over the top of the bread. I'm then going to season them with a little pepper and a little salt. I'm also just going to sprinkle some fresh dried herbs on there. And then I'm just going to pop these in the oven for 10 minutes on one side, then I'm going to turn them over and treat the other side. Now we want to cook these to their beautiful golden brown. Now my chicken liver pate has set, and look at the crocini down here. They look fantastic too. Hey, Silver Volp, thank you. I know you love your chicken liver. I do too. Now let's give this a try. Look at that. I'm going to put that through the butter, just pull it up. I'm going to take one of these beautiful crisp crocinis, pop some of that, get a little bit more of the pate. Doesn't that look delicious? Now, if you've never made pate at home before, you really should. I have some wonderful recipes for some great pates. They're very easy to make, absolutely delicious. Here goes. Mm. Wow, that crisp bread and that wonderful smooth chicken liver pate. It is fantastic. Please share the love. Even if you don't love pate, please give this one the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be good. Thank you for joining me today. Now, a lot of my background is in the charcuterie and home cured meats, so I'll try and do more of those in the future. Be good, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I love to hear your comments. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.